Hey guys, what's up? Justin here with a uh, quick modeling tutorial. Um, pretty basic, just going over the different tools for modeling and what they do. Um, I already have the cube and I already made it editable because I did like most of this tutorial already and Cinema 4D kept fucking freezing like every 10 seconds so it was ridiculous so I just decided to restart it and I'm like super tired because I have an AP test today and I keep promising you guys tutorials and blah, blah, blah. yeah so uh when you first make a cube you can of course change it uh like change the size of it by doing this I'm sure everybody knows that already but uh after that uh when you select the cube you can hit C on your keyboard and that'll make the the cube editable um, and then after that when you right click on it you have all of these different things that you can do to it these are all the different like effects or ways you can edit the the cube or the, whatever object you select and uh, you can go to selection and just type or click what type of selection you want to use um, it's pretty self-explanatory for that part and if anybody doesn't know what this is this is uh, click that button and it changes the perspective um, this is used a lot in, that, uh, in uh, modeling also it's just to show you the different like perspectives on the uh the item so that's like the top or that's a like regular perspective top front right um it comes in handy a lot of the time when modeling so uh you just got to click that button right there and uh so after that you can just uh come in here a lot of modeling is just putting a bunch of objects together and making a bigger object because you can't just use a square to make a dinosaur that doesn't really make sense or I mean I'm sure there is a way but I honestly don't know how to do it so uh when you're making a uh, or when you're making like a a chair or something you can go to null and like say you have like three cubes um you add them all to the null object and you make them all childs of the object and then that's basically like the full object like you can move all three at once you can do whatever so I'm just gonna delete these alright back to this okay so I'm gonna show you guys some of the effects or ways you can model a item um, I'm not gonna show you how to create any specific object I'm not gonna model a chair really quick or anything like that but I'm going to show you how to use the tools. So first one we're going to go over is bevel or bevel or something like that. Um, this is good for making like roofs of a house or it's basically just like beveling a point. Um, it's like extruding a point sort of. So look that already sort of looks like a house I guess. Um, so that's one of the tools that you can use. Um, another one is extrude. I think everybody knows what extrude does already. That just extrudes it really <laughs> um fuck control z okay um and then extrude enter that um sort of does something like that so you could extrude enter and that would give you like a smaller uh, like editable point right here and then you can hit extrude and hold on are you fucking joking i hope it didn't freeze Oh my god, I hate Cinema 4D above so much. Uh, fucking ridiculous. Okay, hold on. Sorry for the uh, technical difficulty. It's ridiculous. Um, hold up. Okay, so like I was saying a few seconds ago, um, that will give you a smaller editable object right there and then you could hit extrude and then just only change that object that's really useful for a lot of things um, you, you just have to extrude like the inner and make that a smaller um, point to uh, edit or model and that comes in handy a lot um, matrix is actually really fun to mess around with I know it sounds intense um, so matrixing an object is like making it go crazy sort of <laughs> um i like to mess around a lot with the matrix just because or not the matrix i didn't take the blue pill or whatever but um it's really fun to mess around with um 
there's just a ton of different stuff that you guys can use and mess around with and you can model your own objects um, this is just I'm just teaching you guys how to use some of the tools in this but a lot of it is just uh, messing around on your own and just creating your own stuff I like starting out with like something abstract that's what I started out with just messing around on my own and creating like abstract objects like abstract uh, well, actually I'll show you one really quick this this one right here I didn't personally make this a friend did but um, that's like an abstract object it's it's pretty fun to make stuff because you're basically creating your own object I guess <laughs> so uh, that's fun to do so you guys could start out making your own uh, objects and abstract and then learn how to do more like actual modeling and maybe move on to making your own transformer or something like that <laughs> which is really hard to do so uh, yeah there's just a ton of different stuff magnet is just dragging or yeah clicking one point and dragging it out like I think I use this on the landscape tutorial I showed you guys how to create a hill um so that just drags one part out really um so I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial um someone suggested I teach you guys how to model a shotgun or a spaz 12 cuz I asked people for suggestions um and I was like that's really way too specific not very many people are like I want to learn how to make a spaz shotgun you have to you have to do that on your own I've never made a spaz shotgun so it would just be weird but I can give you guys a tool to creating your own stuff um or the tools you guys already have the tool I'm just giving you the ideas or the learning or whatever you want to call it um so I hope this tutorial helped everybody uh like favorite comment that really helps me out a lot it helps my channel grow and if you haven't already uh check out my new channel Justin Josh TV um I'm creating a video when my friend Josh gets off work I'm Justin <laughs> so um I'm I think everybody will have a lot of fun watching that channel, and I'll have a lot of fun making videos on that channel. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of comedy stuff while we're in college. I move in August 21st, and it's May 10th, so like three months from now. Um, I'm going to be in college. It's going to be really exciting. I'm not sure how much time I'll have to run all three channels because that's a lot of work. So, I don't know. Um, but I'll definitely stay with you guys with the Cinema 4D stuff and Justin Josh TV. So, um, also follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with Twitter on my other channel. Um, like, I was thinking about starting, like, a You Dare Us sort of series, but that's for my other channel, of course. This is just strictly Cinema 4D. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, learned something, liked hearing my sexy voice, etc. So, uh, like, favorite, comment, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace.